Welcome back to a guide to surviving stroke and brain injury. Uh, this and the following videos to come is a series I'm doing and it's dedicated to what types of strokes there are and you can have. Um, I only found nine major areas of the brain where a stroke can happen and these are them. The frontal lobe, the parietal lobe, the temporal lobe, occipital lobe, brain stem, and that includes three areas of the brain stem, which I'll get into later. Uh, the cerebellar stroke, the thal thalamic stroke, basal ganglia stroke, and internal capsule stroke, which I've never heard of. But I'm going to start off first with the strokes I had which were, was a cerebellar, cerebellar stroke and a pons stroke. So, a cerebellar stroke happens when the blood supply to the cerebellum is stopped. This part of the brain helps with body movement, eye movement, and balance. The cerebellum, or little brain, is a fist-like portion of the brain located at the back of the head. I'll try to show you here. Hope you guys can see that. That is where the cerebellum is located. It's below the temporal and occipital lobes and above the brain stem. Uh, like the cerebral cortex, it has two hemispheres. It has a symmetric left and right. Each side controls coordination and movements for the corresponding side of your body. Damage to the cerebellum can lead to loss of coordination or motor skills, the inability to judge distance and when to stop, the inability to perform rapid altering movements, movement tremors, intention tremors, staggering wide based walking. The cerebellum, which was initially considered to be mainly involved in motor coordination and execution, is now recognized as an associative center for higher cognitive and emotional functions, even in the developing brain, including memory and emotion regulation. Inhibiting impulsive decision making, attention, and working memory. The cerebellum receives information from the sensory systems, the spinal cord, and the other parts of the brain, and then regulates control of those movements. The cerebellum controls voluntary movements such as balance, coordination, walking, posture, and even riding, etc. Fortunately, recovery is possible. It just depends on how bad the stroke was. But completing the exercises daily, and I say daily, <laughs> can promote improvements in your balance, coordination, and cognitive skills. This includes the method, following methods. Physical therapy, mass practice, core and balance training, speech therapy, cognitive training, and occupational therapy, and vision training. Best foods, I love this part, best foods for, <laughs> for brain recovery is dark chocolate is the number one. <laughs> Can you believe it? So dark chocolates love high levels of both magnesium and antioxidants. Two nutrients essential for a healthy brain make it a great food for tra traumatic brain injury recovery. Fatty fish, flaxseed oil, dark leafy greens, walnut and pumpkin seeds, berries, eggs, and my favorite, meat. <laughs> so, this is just the intro. I know I've already spoken to you about the um, strokes I had before, but I just wanted to start off with the strokes that I did have, so you're aware of them. So, uh, if you have any questions, or I didn't cover something and you wanted to know about it, please leave it in the comment section below. Keep on striving for perfection. You're going to get there. Recovery is possible. Celebrate every victory. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.